Hello everyone, Zinzim here. Welcome back to Let's Play Blast Master Zero Free. Last time we faced Adam, and this time we face an old foe. Come out, Liebnes! A new ship. <laughs> I should have known you, you'd make it this far. This you after all. Leibniz! Since Garuda was shut down on Sophia, and I ran into G Sophia, I've had a lot of time to think about everything that's gone down. And I've decided that you and I are enemies after all. But you also have the same thing, right? You won't get past. You'll be getting past here. Why are you all getting my YB? Are you protecting something? Of course! It's really something I'm just not gonna tell a battle about. That feel cool. So you stole Garuda from where it was repaired on Nora? Stole? I'm pretty sure they gladly handed it over to me. Seriously, you have this uncanny way of misunderstanding things. Because we're never meant to get along and then, huh? Out of my way, Leibniz. I'm determined to do whatever it takes. Ooh, determined. Is that right? I was asked to do this. I had to protect someone precious from you. First time we get to see Lucia. Up until now, I've never been able to protect what I truly cherished. But I was still given this task. Me, of all people. It's truly a mystery, even to me. But I'll protect it to the end, even if it means making an enemy of you. I have no idea how deep your determination goes, but my determination. Runs deeper than you can imagine. If you don't think, I'll do what it takes. takes. You're dead wrong. I'll put an end to you here. Come on! Rising! Garuda! Leibniz has revealed her true fate. Yes, Leibniz is a girl. And, uh, oh boy. She is. She is not. Holding back. Like I said, she's not holding back. Just take any shots you can and don't be fine with. Just be fine with um, allowing her to get a few hits. To break these, Thunderbreaker. Leibniz's attacks are few and far between, but honestly, that's what makes this fight so good. The fact that it's just a few attacks and it's all just reaction based. Oh my god, that turnaround always, I always forget it's one turnaround.
though, I'm gonna shop for, for a bit. More just so you guys, guys can hear this awesome music. Oof. God. Gruda is certainly proving itself to be the one bomber. And we got crushed. Oh well. Let's try again. If you guys want to know how, why Linus is a girl, it was confirmed by Matt Papa, who actually works at Integrates. He isn't just a localizer, I believe. Since he, I believe he lives actually in Japan, so. I think he's pretty trustworthy source, but there's also the few pieces of art that integrate uh, Lao with kind of showing that Linus is clearly intended to be a woman, a very tomboyish woman. But a woman nonetheless. Oh my god, I keep doing it.
And Leibniz is now gone crazy. And we can only hit with Thunderbreaker. But we typically can with a very well placed shot, but good luck. <laughs> Jason! Well. Got Right, I keep forgetting about this. This is just so convoluted. Can't you can't see? So it's like what? Oof! We are not ready. <coughs> but I might as well. We won't be doing. The final boss this episode, but I'll show the cutscene before it because it makes sense. So I'll save and let's go. The mutant cocoon and Jason. <laughs> Plot twist. I knew you'd be here in super dimensional space. <laughs> Honestly, I wish you'd never come here. King Gardner, commander of planet Sophia. I had no desire for you to be like this either. Jason Frudnik. My helmet. So that's how you were able to enter superdimensional space. I guess you repaired it after I left, I left it behind. <laughs> that means this is all my fault. I had my suspicions ever since you the day you try to stop Eve, but look at you now. You're ready. I warned you not to abuse it. The Vera system didn't do us. The system Eve built had no faults. The problem was the big cell charger that I needed to survive in superdimensional space. As I got more used to being there, I ended up the same as Eve. Now I too can no longer live in normal space. But I had to give up my existence as a human if I wanted to be with I made up my mind. I will protect them. Them? What do you mean? Where is Eve? Is that a mutant cocoon? Of cradle of clam calamity? What are you two planning? Eve lost her physical body and became a super dimensional life form. This is the vessel she left behind. To Eve and I, this is our cradle of hope. It won't be much longer now. I can't let you destroy it. Eve resolved to live here in superdimensional space as both a superdimensional life form and the new mutant queen. And you resolved to throw away your humanity to be together with her. You both chose this life. It's not my place to reproach you. However, a, super a dimensional rusher has opened up once again, and thus, once again, you interfered in normal space. The mutants are under Eve's control, they won't escape through the rupture. Besides, without the Verse system, no one can even cross over dimensions. It simply exists, it has no effect on normal space. You should know better. Eve is only allowed to be free if she doesn't interfere with normal space. 
She breaks that promise. Sophia won't sit back and do nothing. Sophia striving to build a union to maintain peace in the universe. Even your home planet, Earth, is considering joining the reunion. If evidence of your crime comes to light, it means trouble for Sophia. You may be right, that it was a crime. But despite that, we had a dream. We had a dream, we had to fulfill. I'm not doing this as commander of Sophia, but as King Gardner. Whatever you do it is you're doing, I came to scold you too. As a father. If that's not enough to stop you, receive an order, destroy you at the eve. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of backing down now. Jason, my position gives you gives me no choice but to recognise you. Witness Eve and you and her you, her accomplice, as enemies of Sophia. It's my duty to stop you and her. If you're so determined to go through with this, just try and get through me and my male attacker. This is our meta fight. Meta fight. Come on, Blaster Master. Blaster Master, Sophia G1, Jason to the 5k versus meta fight. Metal attacker, Kane to stop Jason. I know this is a very, very short episode, but Leibniz deserves her own episode. By the time this video goes up, and by the time it's done, the final boss will also be uploaded. So, well, final bosses, as you can tell. Might as well quickly do a quick talk. I have not played as Kane to fight Jason. So this will be my first time actually facing Jason as Kane. But I'll be giving you the Jason playing as Jason against Kane. So, next time on Blaster Master, Zero slash Meta Fight. Because let's be real, this is what this is ending up as we'll fight Jason and Kane or Kane then Jason and see the ending then he doesn't change but <sighs> this is Inu and Zimmer signing out